Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about SoFi Technologies and their SoFi share price regarding how high it can go, because some analysts literally believe this company could double in their overall share price. We're going to be talking about their latest news updates, why insiders are selling, how high their share price can go, a recent catalyst that they just went through, and where we can see this company go in the future. So if you want more videos on SoFi Technologies, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you are new. And without further ado, I say let's jump right into today's stories. SoFi Technologies is a fintech company or a financial technology company that operates as a digital bank and their ticker symbol is SOFI. And recently, many bears are jumping on the fact that a lot of their insiders have been selling shares of SoFi stock. For instance, a recent insider who sold shares of SoFi would be their chief technology officer, also known as their CT. He recently sold on September 1st, and he sold around 53,532 shares at an average price of $8.88 per share. He sold literally 25% of his entire position. And the reason why this is a big deal is because the shares that he sold represented a significant 25% of his prior position. But don't be too dismayed because he still owns around 160,597 shares. And this is not his first time selling shares either. This is actually his third time selling shares this year. For instance, on March 3rd, he reported selling 81,000 shares at an average price of $6.46. He sold again on May 9th, where he sold approximately 200,000 shares at an average cost basis of $5.46 and like we just talked about he just recently sold on September 1st. So over the past year the CTO or Chief Technology Officer of SoFi Technologies has sold roughly $2.09 million worth of SoFi stock while buying no shares. However, before the bears and naysayers and critics of this company get too excited, let me reiterate something. This insider selling shares should not be viewed as him giving up on the company, which this author correctly highlights. Insiders of a company sell shares for a plethora of various reasons, including personal expenditures, diversification, to pay taxes, to make a large investment somewhere else, or even just to have liquidity on hand to further fund their luxurious lifestyle. But what's interesting is that this is not the only insider that has been selling shares. For instance, the president of SoFi Bank, the chief marketing officer or CMO, as well as the chief risk officer or CRO have all sold shares as well on the open market this year. Meanwhile, there's only one insider which has been purchasing shares of SoFi and that would be the CEO himself, which is honestly the only insider that we really should be paying attention to here. The CEO of SoFi Technologies has purchased SoFi stock on several occasions. His the last purchase occurred on May 15th where he acquired 108,000 shares at an average cost of $4.67. What a phenomenal buying opportunity that was and the CEO capitalized on just that. And this would bring his total stake up to 6.48 million shares. However, does the insider selling and buying balance out? Well, the answer is yes. SoFi insiders have sold around $7.35 million worth of SoFi stock while insiders have purchased purchased $9.55 million worth of SoFi stock. So clearly they have acquired $2.2 million more than what they have sold. So although bears want to mislead people saying that all of these insiders are selling and it's such bad news, they are not looking over the overall picture here because there is more insider buying than insider selling. So I wanted to clear that up, but now let's talk about why the CEO is so bullish on his company. And to do this, we will talk about why SoFi stock could literally double in their overall share price by the end of the year once the company becomes profitable. This is the reason why the CEO of SoFi Technologies, who is named Anthony Noto, is confidently investing into SoFi stock, and so far, that has been an extremely profitable decision for him. The company is absolutely thriving, and as SoFi Technologies continues to ramp up their student loan refinancing business, which we will talk about at the end of the video, because recently the CEO had a fireside chat at an event held by Goldman Sachs, he gave us more information on this. 
And considering that the company is growing their revenue at a rapid pace, many professionals believe the company could achieve a profitability, even though all professionals do not see eye to eye. For instance, there's an analyst that raised their quarter three 2023 earnings per share projections for SoFi Technologies from a loss of nine cents originally to a loss of seven cents per share, which is an improvement, which is good news. However, he also provided estimates of quarter four 2023 regarding their EPS or earnings per share at a loss of two cents per share. And I think that is actually ridiculous considering that current projections place this company as being profitable by the end of the year. So his full year 2023 guidance is a loss of 20 cents per share and his full year 2024 guidance is a loss of 2 cents per share, which makes no sense. This analyst believes that they won't even achieve profitability throughout the entire year of 2024, which is literally garbage. So I don't know what numbers he's using, but all of the numbers that I have crunched say that they are going to be profitable either by the fourth quarter of 20. 2023 or the first quarter of 2024. On top of that, we have other analysts who have given price targets. For instance, BTIG Research has a $13 price target, while JP Morgan Chase has a $10 price target. On the other hand, Oppenheimer downgraded their rating for SoFi from an outperform rating down to a market perform rating, while Piper Sandler raised their price target to $9. However, for whatever reason, Wed Bush reiterated their underperform rating with a $3 price target, which is very laughable while the current average price target is hovering at around $9.16, and since the company is currently trading at $8.55, there is still upside potential in this stock. However, the highest end price target for this company actually comes in at around $16, which means that this company could potentially double in their overall share price, and that's exactly what the author of this article is saying, and he believes they could do this by the end of the year, even though I think it would be more plausible for them to do it over the next 12 months. But regardless, the company is anticipated to achieve profitability by the end of the year, Year, and that is going to act as a phenomenal catalyst, thus increasing their overall share price. This then leads us to our next article to where this author is advocating that investors should buy the stock before their upcoming breakout, before it surges. And he gives a reason why he believes SoFi stock is going to surge. Not a lot of people know that a company called Instacart is about to have an IPO or an initial public offering. And Instacart is already a profitable company and they are having a huge IPO. So if you didn't know about that, definitely put this company on your radar. And the reason why Instacart is in the news is because SoFi Technologies is doing the underwriting for the IPO of this grocery delivery app giant. If you don't know what Instacart is, essentially, you can order groceries through their app, somebody else will go to the store for you, get everything that you listed on the app, and then deliver the groceries to your house. And this author fully agrees with the Financial Times report, which stated that winning a role on one of the most high-profile U.S. listings of the year is a milestone for SoFi, end quote. And I completely agree. For Instacart to have an IPO, which is underwritten by SoFi Technologies, this just shows SoFi Technologies' prowess and their overall prestige as a financial institution. So this is going to have very positive implications for SoFi Technologies, which hopefully will lead them to underwriting more IPOs in the future, thus solidifying SoFi Technologies' overall reign in the finance space. This not only will benefit Instacart, but also it will help SoFi stock move even higher as anticipated. Lastly, the author highlights another reason to be very bullish on SoFi stock, and that is because they are participating in the AI revolution. For instance, SoFi Technologies has an AI natural language customer service bot named Connecta. And recently, SoFi Technologies has disclosed some of the stats pertaining to their cyber bank Connecta, which, like we said, is an AI service bot that was developed by their subsidiary named Galileo. And so far, this bot has been helping SoFi Technologies profoundly. For instance, SoFi Technologies found that their customer service performance has improved by around 7% since implementing Connecta. On top of that, customer service response time has improved by more than 65%, and they also had over 50% fewer people drop from the line. Meaning that instead of getting fed up and hanging up when you're on hold, this bot has taken care of those people. So with this increase of customer service, this is making SoFi Technologies look very good from a consumer perspective, and hopefully this is going to help out their overall share price. Last but not least, let's talk about that fireside chat which I alluded to earlier about their CEO when they went to Goldman Sachs Communicopia event. SoFi's CEO essentially took this time to express the future of their student loan refinancing volumes in quarter three and quarter four. He said in quarter three, they are going to experience an uptick in their overall student loan refinancing thanks to the student loan moratorium officially coming to an end. However, 
However, he also anticipates a much bigger increase in quarter four, which again helped their overall bottom line, which should catapult them toward profitability. So this just shows SoFi Technologies' ongoing strength. On top of that, he also said that they have ongoing strength in their overall personal loan business, which is anticipated to be sustained throughout the remainder of the year and into 2024. So with great personal loans, as well as an uptick and a surge in their student loan refinancing volumes, this is going to positively impact their top and bottom line. However, what shocked me is that the company is expecting to benefit from an increase in home loan originations, which did surprise me considering that home loans and interest rates are still very high right now. But overall, I think that the CEO did a great job at the Communicopia event, which was hosted by Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs analyst even reiterated a hold rating for SoFi stock, and he gave a price target of around $7, which implies 18% downside. But overall, I would still say that SoFi is a great buying opportunity. So if you loved this news update, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.